Hey guys, random note, this like vlog content I'm putting in vlog is from the day I got my pro fiber treatment, pro fiber treatment done. I just decided to split it up. I was editing like my pro fiber treatment and it was like 10 minutes long by the time I just talked about it. And then I vlogged a lot of other stuff today, like mail and things. So I thought I would like split it up for you guys. <laughs> Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel because I'm awesome. No, I'm kidding. Or am I? Mail time. I got some stuff from Antipodes. Holy shit, is this fate or is this fate? Remember the other day I said I'm obsessed with that avocado oil, the avocado and rosehip oil. <gasps> so many serums. That video hasn't even gone up yet, so it's not like they saw that. They just sent me all of these. Yeah. So what do we have? We have Worship Superfood Antioxidant Serum. I am all about the serum life. They just work so well on my skin. Skin Brightening Serum, um, H2O Intensive Skin Plumping Serum, the Chia and Kiwi Seed Superfood Serum. We have a avocado oil and rose hip. That's the one I've been using and like dying over. So happy I've got another one because I'm pretty, I've got like only maybe a third of my other one left. And then Joya, Joyous. I was like, what does that say? Protein Rich Night Replenishing Serum, Goji Berry, Raspberry Seed Oil, and Hibiscus Flower. That sounds so out of it. This excites me way more than it should. So it's got a whole bunch of like um, information. Water-based serum delivers hydration, antioxidant rich, easily absorbed, and then oil-based nourishing balances natural oil levels and fresh dewy texture. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you guys for sending those to me because you must have like read my mind. And then Urban Decay. Hi Shannon, we're dreaming of warmer sunny days ahead and are excited to share our summer lineup. It's all about luminous naked skin. Whether you're planning a weekend at the beach or a sh I was like shimmer? <laughs> summer road trip. Uh, do you mind? Do you mind? Or a summer road trip. These products will keep you going all summer long. We can't wait to see your looks and which products are your Urban Decay Getaway Essentials. Monica. Thank you, Monica. Oh my god, that quote though. Yet I woke up like the skin. Oh my gosh, is this like luminous naked skin foundation or what? Like, eh, hold on. Holy mother ever. Naked skin one and done. Hybrid complexion perfecter. SPF 20 optical blurring and luminous finish paraben free. I'll probably be light, light medium. It's like BB cream kind of packaging. I wonder what the coverage is like. Do you want to see a first impression? You get 40 mil, which is really good. You get more than normal. I'm guessing it's some kind of like tinted moisturizer. I'm excited. I like the packaging. Like it looks really nice, like metallic and everything. And then we also have bronzer and afterglow powder highlighter. Oh yes. I already know that's going to be pretty because there's a sin eyeshadow, which is beautiful. Um, we have another bronzer, another afterglow aura. And then another afterglow in Fireball. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And Irma Decay Eye Pencil. It looks like a nude color, I'm guessing. Walk of Shame, yep. And then Heartless. This is a eye pencil as well. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll open these so you can have a look. So the blush, I mean, so the highlight packaging reminds me of their blushes. Um, with like that on the back. And then, oh my god. Best freaking packaging ever. If it ever focuses. Come on. There we go. Look at that. It's got like palm trees on it. And then it's got like a rose gold kind of back to it. That's how all the products look. Um, I'll swatch this in. I'll leave the others for videos on my main channel. But oh my god. Let me just focus. So I just got off my meeting. Sorry, I was like swatching that product and my camera died. I kind of swatched it on my hand. Can you see it? It's beautiful. Like amazing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it properly. The lighting's a bit dodge. It's like so pretty. But anyways, I was just on Facebook and Kelly was like, yo, are you hungry? And then she sent me this photo. She's like, do you want me to bring you over some lunch? I was like, yes. Yes, please. By the way, this portion of the video was filmed a different day. I filmed this the same day I got my hair done by L'Oreal. But I'm just putting it in a different video. <laughs> Look at it. That's sin. So you can kind of see it to the left is like a little bit more blended in because it's been sitting on my hand for a couple of hours. And then the other one's like a fresh swatch, real heavy. So time for me to put away the rest of the stuff. Oh, show me. Kelly made these peanut butter protein balls, which I'm not eating. And then like avocado feta smash and like avocado hummus dip stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. By the way, I've already started eating this. Me and Hamish have just been digging in, but you can um follow 
Kelly's food Instagram. I'll put a link down below. And then when the blog post is up on how to make it, she'll put up a picture like with the link and everything. So go follow her. Yay, I finished packing all of those. Got all my stuff away. So now I just have to tidy up the rest of the junk everywhere. But Hamish is finished for the day. It's five o'clock and I'm just kind of like, I don't even care about doing it right now. So that's that for the day. The weather outside is just not motivating me at all. <laughs> Look at all this crazy skincare. And like fake tan and stuff. This drawer's pretty in this one. So much lip gloss. <laughs> Making burgers. Asian spiced burgers. Yum. Do you know what's annoying? This is annoying. Tonight I am picking out. One of them is like fresh flavor. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I just said fresh flavor for some reason with like tomato, lettuce, onion, avocado, um, the patty. And then this one has mayo and barbecue sauce, pineapple, the patty, and some halloumi. Yum. How good was dinner? Yeah, it was really good. Hamish said that he preferred those meatless meat patties. <laughs> so confusing. Then, um, like proper like steak patties. That was so nice. They had so much flavor. Like so much flavor. They're amazing. So gonna buy them again. Now feeling very full. We're gonna go to bed and watch some Netflix now. I'm excited we're watching The Killing still. Um, I think we're up to like episode 7 or 8 or something like that. So good. I just put on some more mask Purifint by Eisenberg. I'm down to like my last application left in the little packaging. It's actually kept super well in the Ziploc bag. Surprisingly, I thought it might dry out eventually. But it's been in there for like two or three weeks or something, hasn't it? And it's fine. Like it's not changed in texture at all. So I'm really happy about that. I need to buy another one. I still haven't purchased another one. I'm thinking when I buy it, I might actually try some other products from the same brand because I just love this so much and it's really pricey but it just does wonders for my skin so I might try like a cleanser or like a moisturizer or something um, from that brand I've got so many as you saw before I've got so many that I've been sent but I don't know I just really really want to try something more from this brand because I'm so impressed with it so I'll see what happens I'll have a look and see what they have anyway <sighs> it just smells so good as well next time I go to Italy I need to like stock up on it <laughs> hoping like I reckon um I want to take Hamish over to visit my factory and everything at some stage. So I don't know when we'll do that. We were discussing maybe even like, and like my mum too. We were even discussing like, um, at the end of this year or something. But we'll see. It kind of just depends when we get some free time and when Hamish doesn't have heaps of study to do and everything. But yeah, I'd love to go over and take him over. Because Hamish hasn't been to Europe or anything as well. It'd be so fun. And I can take him to eat all the nice Italian food. And go explore it'd be so fun but yeah vlog little bits and pieces of like my brush factory and some other stuff i'm working on so i don't know that's all just thoughts at the moment but we'll see i'm like really enjoying vlogging the editing sucks but vlogging's fun i was talking to someone from youtube and they were like oh have you ever thought about hiring an editor and i was like oh my god how amazing would that be he's like most like big youtubers have editors um, because then you can really just focus on the part that you love, which is like the filming. But sometimes I like editing, but then sometimes I hate editing, you know? It's kind of like hot and cold. How amazing would that be? But I just feel like an editor wouldn't edit it the way I would edit, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I wouldn't know, like they wouldn't, I don't know, it just wouldn't be my style, or like they would edit out parts that I would keep in, or vice versa, like they wouldn't edit out parts that I would edit out, or I don't know. I just don't think I could do it, but oh my gosh, the thought is just so tempting. I'm like, can you imagine how much like more free time I would have? <laughs> Work hard, play hard. I can't wait to get a car too. I forgot to say in my vlog the other day, like basically we customized it hard out. So black on black, 22 inch rims, tinted windows, got some like accessories added. Um, we're having like the blackest black possible, silver seats, black roof, panoramic roof. Um, what else? Oh, it's just going to be amazing. I cannot wait to vlog it and show you guys. I cannot wait. I'm so excited to show you. Um, so I'll show you that when it comes in. I think it's still going to be like five months away or something. Little Mambi. We're up to like episode 10 or something like that really good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll talk to you tomorrow.